We are here at the Texas Beef Leaders of Tomorrow contest, and I'm the chairman. I'm Rosemary Gambino, and I'd like to welcome everyone to the contest. This is our third year to hold the contest here in Clayburg. Uh, we're very excited to have uh, 12 energetic, enthusiastic, beef advocates ages 17 to 20 who are competing today and they are competing in a media interview in an essay contest in consumer promotion and in a classroom presentation and so they are skilled in all four of these areas and last night they were trained by texas beef council representative erin johnston she did a workshop with these kids and trained them for today's contest the Texas Beef Leaders of Tomorrow contest will select four winners today. Each of those four winners will receive a $1,500 scholarship and they become a team, the Texas Beef Leader team for next year. And they travel the state of Texas. They are advocates for the beef industry. They'll speak to students, they'll speak to organizations. Uh, and th this is all paid for by the program on behalf of the beef industry. And it's so exciting to see youth who are enthusiastic and proud of what they do. Hi, my name is Mandy Jo Laurent and I'm a sophomore animal science major at Texas Tech University. I just finished my term as the Texas Beef Leader of Tomorrow. At last year's contest, I was the first place winner, so I had the opportunity to travel the nationals in Arkansas. At that contest, I was awarded in the top five and got to travel this year with the National Beef Ambassador team. I've had a lot of great opportunities and been to a lot of really awesome places through my term. I just recently went to Boston to the Boston Marathon and we were at the Health and Fitness Expo. We got to pass out stakes, people who were coming through to run in the Boston Marathon. I just got back from Denver too where we had the National Summer Conference, which is a great opportunity to meet and mingle with cattlewomen and cattlemen in our industry. One of the greatest things I've gotten from this experience is the travel and also meeting so many important people. I can't tell you how many opportunities I've had within the industry to meet people in jobs and the places that I will look for in the future when it comes time for a career. Also, I've really benefited from the scholarship money on the state and national level. It's really been a great opportunity and I can't thank the Cattle Women enough for the experience. Okay, the first thing I want to tell you all is that you're all winners and I know you may have heard that a time or two, but you certainly are, and I'm just overwhelmed by uh, your accomplishments and how well you present yourself. I'm gonna announce the four winners. Bo David Williford. Howdy, my name is Bo David Williford, and I'm currently a biomedical science major at Texas A&M. Today was a lot of fun. I met a lot of new people. I met a lot of the Texas cattle women who were so nice and so helpful. It was a lot of fun. I learned a lot and I'm ready to get on the road and be an advocate for the beef industry. The most difficult part for me was the consumer promotions because I'm used to getting up and speaking in front of large groups of people. I'm used to one-on-one -on -one interviews. I've been an advocate for in the media for a while. But the consumer promotions wasn't something I had a lot of practice in, so it was very difficult for me. So to a new contestant, I would really recommend getting out and practicing that part of it. I'm really big into journalism, and I love that part of it. And so reading the article and being able to write a letter to the editor was a lot of fun. I also enjoyed the media interview with Ms. Johnston. She was so passionate about the beef industry and was so helpful. And I really enjoyed getting to know her and working with her. Jordan Simon. Hi, my name is Jordan Simon. I'm 17 years old and I'll be a freshman at Texas A&M University in the fall. And today I competed in the Beef Leaders Contest, which was a really great competition. I learned a lot and I met a lot of new people, made a lot of great connections. Um, I've been showing Santa Gertrude's cattle for four years now and I've done very well and showed and that's my experience with beef cattle. The most challenging part was waiting before each competition and not knowing what was going to come next, especially the media interview where she was shooting off questions and you had to really think on your feet and test those skills. My favorite part of the competition was the consumer promotion where you got to go out and interact with people and get your name out and talk to people about beef and I really liked interacting with all other people. Trevor King. My name is Trevor King, I'm from Winsboro, Texas, and I'm going to go to school at Texas Tech University and major in Ag Communications and minor in Animal Science. 
Probably the most difficult thing that I encountered was the article write-up because my English writing probably has not been the best throughout high school, so I had to correct all my spelling and grammatical errors and watch those very closely. The competitions were really fun and the Texas Cattle Women are very good people and very informative to about diff many different things about the beef industry and very helpful to me. My favorite thing was the consumer promotion. I had a lot of fun promoting the beef industry as if I was at a grocery store, speaking to people one-on-one -on -one and giving them what I thought and what the beef industry had to offer them. This is our High Point winner and the one that will have a chance to go to the National Beef Ambassador Contest in South Dakota, Austin Joyce. Okay, uh, my name is Austin Joyce and I'm from Pearland, Texas in Brazoria County. And this next year I'll be a member of the Fight in Texas Aggie Class of 2014. Just as a, as a beef advocate and as well as somebody who wants to improve their leadership skills, we went through a various contests, a classroom setting where you have to teach a lesson to a class. We went through another contest where we had a consumer. It was a consumer-based sales uh, promoting the beef product. We also had a news interview as well as an essay. And all of these will help you uh, in all aspects of life, but especially in promoting beef and being a beef advocate. I think my favorite part of the day, uh, aside from getting to know everybody, because that's a great experience, you meet people from all over the state, but I think my favorite part was the consumer presentation because you had one consumer who was a vegetarian and that wanted nothing to do with your product, and then you had two other consumers that were really excited about the beef and really just wanted to know more. So that's something that's going to be presented to you in everyday, day-to-day -day life. So I think that being the most realistic as well as somewhat comical at the same time is what made that my favorite contest. I'd like to thank the Texas Cattle Women Association for putting this contest on. We'd also like to thank Novartis Animal Health for providing a great meal and also this awesome experience to meet awesome people throughout the state. Thank, thank you, Novartis Animal Health. And um, we would also like to thank the Butler Foundation, including Cheryl and Alan Granger, for donating the scholarship money that's going to help us all further our education. And when it comes down to it, we really want to express our deepest gratitude to the Texas Beef Council and Beef Checkoff to come out and compete and represent the Texas beef industry. Beef. It's what's for dinner. dinner.